Good morning everyone, it's Saturday, October 8th, 2022, and we got FSD Beta 10.69.2.3 on our 2022 Model S Long Range. So I'm taking it out on test loop 1 to see if it behaves any different compared to our 2018 Performance Model 3. In 500 feet, turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Okay, it's all clear to the left, it's coming to its complete stop and made a quick decision to proceed. So it still doesn't see that 45 sign until the nav data updates it further up here. It should update about now. There it is. Okay, I, I'm hoping I can catch this right turn on red. I want to see it how it handles the right turn on red. Okay, it's all clear to the left. You can go. There we go. Actually, very nicely done there. Okay, so this merge, for some reason, it's not even visualizing these arrows, which I know it does has done before, and no signal for the merge. We are merging into that left lane. Oh, wait, I saw a turn signal. One flick of the turn signal there. So, hey, an improvement. close to the right there, but I didn't need to intervene. Okay, I'd be turning my turn signal on now for this turn because I'm decelerating. Okay, there's the turn signal. No one coming, so it should be a nice smooth left turn. Yeah, it's slow like the three. It's very slow in making this turn. Okay, there we go. Speed bump number one. No visualization on that anymore, but obviously it sees it. 17, 16, 17 miles an hour is across that. Let's see, it handles these three stop signs. It proceeds without hesitating too long. Okay, we should go. Okay, so this one, it never says creeping forward for visibility, and then the next two, it usually does. Let's see. Okay, there's the creeping forward for visibility. A little bit longer of a hesitation on that one, but proceeded after about a second of delay there. In 500 feet, Sees the speed bump. To Copper Hill Drive. Now in the three, it was quicker on this one to accelerate. Let's see how the S does. Yep, there we go. So it had the creeping forward for visibility for a split second and it disappeared and it went. Okay, sees the speed bump. Turn signal on for this left. We're cresting a hill, so it's kind of calculating up to the stop line, which it still doesn't, there it is, now it sees it. It is clear to the left. We've got a car from the right. If it goes now, it can squeeze in. There it goes, very well done. Nice acceleration for the car coming too. That was very well done. Okay, so let's remove my midpoint here. started signaling and getting over into the left at, the, at this turn. I want to see what this one does. There it is. The same, it's doing the same thing. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to send that one in. 
So something on the nav layer has changed its behavior on this road from all the drives I've done along here. Well, maybe it's not the nav layer. It could be the it could be something to do with the lane selection neural network. Huh. Interesting to see how that develops with each update. I suspect they should be able to fix that pretty quick. Okay, here comes our advanced green. Accelerating for the cars turning in front there, did that well. Accelerated quickly after the path was clear. deceleration to the red. turn lane I would pick. Very smooth on the deceleration and acceleration, that's nice. This, doing this little right before it turns left. I think it's just uh, it still kind of cut that turn a little bit, but it, it, it was fine. There was no traffic that it was interfering with. Now, I'm right onto Plum Canyon. Uh, this time I will intervene if it doesn't get into the lane, but I'll leave it as long as I can. I'm also hopeful it just gets into the right turn lane this time. start signaling now and move over just like that Ford is in front of me. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to intervene. I have a sneaking suspicion it would do the same thing that the three did the other day.
hey, nice quick decision to get into the left lane. No traffic, unfortunately, so nice smooth left turn. And there we go, FSD beta 10.69.2.3 on test loop one in our 2022 Model S.